good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. Today I'm talking about a ship I wanted to make an updated video on for quite some time. That is the Tier 8 Premium American Destroyer, the Kid. Now the Kid is special to me for two reasons. First off, it's the first, well, one of the first DDs I got my hands on in this game. I bought it way back in 2017, not too long after, after she came out because I didn't feel like grinding up the American Destroyer line, and 2017 Mountbatten made that mistake, and that's why I keep telling you guys, don't make the same mistakes as I did back in the day. Don't buy into a high-tier ship. You have no idea how the ship is played and no idea how the class is played, because, God, I had a terrible time in the kid back in the day, and that's why my stats in it have, well, have been terrible and continue to be terrible because of 2017 Mountbatten that kept trying to make this ship work when... He had no idea what he was doing, but anyway, that's one reason why. Second reason why is because this is the closest museum ship to myself. I'm a mere around an hour away from the kid, and it's one of, I think, one now uh, museum ships in Louisiana. We used to have two, but the gearing that we had was sold to, what, Jacksonville, I think, in Florida? Moved over there, got a nice new paint job and all, and um, now she's up on display over there. I think it's the Orkin. I do believe that was the uh, gearing that was sold to Florida. But anyway, so the kid's also really neat because it's the only Fletcher left in the world today that's in its original World War II configuration, and that's why they used her for the movie Greyhound, which I did a movie review on, but Apple TV doesn't like that, so they removed it off the channel, unfortunately. And it's a really, really, really good museum ship, too, an excellent one, and one that I'm hoping to go to fairly soon and do an updated real still video on. So, that's why the kid's special to me. Why could it be special to you to you? Well, the kid has a couple well, one main selling point back in the day, and that is her AA. Now, what the kid is in game is a Fletcher down tier to tier eight. And she's had one of her torpedo racks removed and replaced with some more bofers. But on top of that too, the AA has been sw switched up quite a bit. She has a whole lot more of the dual mount Orlikens, which on the normal Fletch I believe are just single mounts. Like I said, she did get some more of those glorious, glorious bofers bolted onto her decks as well. And then the main battery guns also are all dual purpose. Now that right there, that's a pretty good base AA set to have, but with the kid it gets better. She gets access to the DFAA consumable, which increases her continuous damage by 50%, and the damage from shell, shell explosions by 300%, and it's active for 40 seconds of the build that I have on it, it loads to 76 seconds, you get 5 charges of that. Now today that means she has the ability to not delete entire squadrons, but certainly make the CV's life a little bit more painful. Actually, a lot more painful for most CV's. Back in the day, though, back in like 2017, 2018, pre-CV rework, the kid was essentially a no-fly zone because you didn't dare go near a kid with a CV because once they popped that DFAA consumable, your squadron was essentially dead. Of course, very good CV players could manage to avoid this, but for the vast majority of the CV population, it was a death zone to go anywhere near the kid. Is that true today still? No, not really. She still is one of the better AA ships because she was so busted before the CV rework, after the CV rework, and after all the changes were made, she wound up being one of the still better AA ships in the game, and one that you can absolutely still count on to shoot down at least a handful of planes when the CVs try to strike you, and there's of course things that you can do to bait that out and make sure that you take the maximum amount of planes with you, like using her great range for ex for example. Her AA range is out to 5.8 kilometers, so you turn your AA off with the CV, get a little bit like halfway uh, within your AA range, like two kilometers from you, basically let them assured spot you, pop your, your AA on, pop DFAA, and you're going to make that CV's life painful for the next 40 seconds if you don't outright take his whole squadron with him. You won't really do that with most tier 8 
um, squadrons with like tier six planes. That's definitely going to happen. Uh, tier eight, you're probably going to wipe out half their squadron if they're not uh, used to dodging flak just yet. Tier ten, you're going to take a fair chunk. And again, it depends. You know, like the German planes have less HP, and some planes have uh, repair parties on them and such. But Overall, it is a very good AA boat, and if you don't like CVs, this is certainly one of the ships you should pick up if you're a good DD player. But the A is no longer the main selling point on the kit, unfortunately. It's still one of the better things about the ship, and one factor that, of course, I'm sure most players do consider when picking her up. So what even is the kid good at now if they've nerfed her main selling point? Well, the kid for my experience at least, is an excellent cap contesting and cap fighting DD in most cases. Why? First off, this is a Fletcher class destroyer, which is a tier 9 in this game. The kid's a tier 8. So you've got the Fletcher base at tier 8 with its 5 5 inch guns, 5 American 5 inch guns, those lovely 127mm guns that we all know and love or despise depending upon your experience with them that have a pretty darn good reload time too. Uh, she has a reload time of 3.2 seconds with the build that I have on her at the moment. They also have a fantastic 180 time of 5.3 seconds again with the build that I have on it. And her HE shells do a maximum damage of 1800 which of course isn't as great as some of the new DDs we've gotten since the kids introduction but they have a 6% chance of causing a fire and they can pin 21 millimeters of armor and they come out the tubes at 792 meters a second and they do also have the shells that are made by SpaceX that's why they have these suborbital firing arcs it seems which is great for lobbing shells over islands which most of the American um, DDs like cruisers and heavy cruisers are quite good at but that does also of course increase the flight time to the target so at range it um yeah it's pretty rough at range which is why i gave up trying to build into that with a 12.1 kilometer main battery range now which you can get that out to i think 14 kilometers if you do want to build into that with the aft skill whatever it's called now but that 12.1 kilometer range does sound fairly short and it is but the kid has a very nice set of tools for simply just running over other tier 8 and below DDs. So again, it's a Fletcher at tier 8, so you have the guns of the Fletcher and the firepower of the Fletcher at tier 8. But on top of that too, you also get a heal. They gave the kid a heal. You get four charges of this heal that repairs 117 hit points per second. It is active for 28 seconds, cools down to 76 seconds, and you get four charges of that. It's a very nice heal. On top of that too, you also get the good old American smokescreen. This that's the active for 30 seconds and six around for 124 seconds which means that by the time your cooldown time of 152 seconds passes you're only about 30 seconds away from having another smoke screen ready to go so that's great for not of course fully diving into the cap but backing into the cap at the beginning of the match and just getting your stern in there and you are still a pretty darn stealthy dd 5.8 kilometers with the proper build which means you're only going to be outspotted by the japanese torpedo boats if i'm correct in my um limited destroyer knowledge which means that those boats that can outspot you uh if you spot them which most of the time from my experience especially at uh we're running to like tier six and tier seven dd players they've overcommitted to the caps so they're bowing to you so they probably are, are about to stumble into you shortly after they spot you and you can just murder them because well you're a Fletcher at tier 8. And that heal allows you to be a little bit more aggressive with going at, after other DDs because you have a heal. There's not a whole lot of tier 8 DDs that have heals, even still today. What, almost uh, six years, uh, five years after the kid's been introduced into the game? So you've got that going for you, so that means that you can, more often than not, out bully the other DDs for the cap, take the cap for your team, and then you're free to roam around on your side of the map which means you're able to get into positions where you can hug an island throw some shells over the island start farming down the enemy team now unfortunately in the all the games i had tonight trying to capture some footage for the kid um my, my teams were well there were 12 members on my team but let's just say not all of them were um very interested in teamwork which the kid's a great dd it is a fantastic dd if you have teamwork if you're 
out there spotting for your team and they're shooting the radar ships that can spot you in your smoke screen and you've got multiple ships on your flank you've got to say another destroyer with you you're able to pop your smoke screen and do a little bit of farming yeah you're going to get some big damage numbers but in my experience especially recently i've had a whole lot of games when i've only done like 39 40 50 thousand damage but i'm like one two or three on the team because either i was capping i was spotting shooting down planes that all of course adds into your xp calculations at the end of the game so in most cases today you certainly won't be you know of course hauling in mountains of damage and such but you can still do what needs to be done in the kid you can cap you can spot you can, of course, shoot down those planes for your team. And it's, of course, a great ship on some, like, standard battle when you have CVs involved because you can go into the cap by the time you've managed to murder the enemy TDs and be a little sneaky ship, get into the cap behind the enemy team, and the CV goes to do something with you. One, you've got your American smokescreen, which is going to almost last you the entirety of the cap's uh, cap duration. Two, you got your AA to back you up. You can definitely make that CV pay for trying to uh, blind fire you and your in the smoke of course if it's playing spotted again throwing it back to the teamwork there but it's an all-around really good DD for someone that's looking to get into destroyers now like I said at the start of this video I'm not saying drop what you're doing right now and go buy this tier 8 DD if you have no DD experience whatsoever absolutely not but if you're a DD player you're looking to get into the American line or maybe looking for an American uh, destroyer commander trainer you can certainly take the kid because, like I said at the start of this video, talking about the ship's AA, certainly has been nerfed a lot to where you won't really be building into it too, too much anymore. So you're going to be using the same commander skills and modules that most other American destroyers are going to use. So it's a great American destroyer commander trainer. And again, if you do want to troll the CVs, you get two of these things in a division together, you are absolutely going to murder the CVs' planes. So it's still good for that. And again, it's a wonderful teamwork, DD. If you've got, like two buddies in a division and you guys want to work together and mesh together one of the best ships in the game for that but again in random battles by yourself it can be a little frustrating to use again with those slow american american shells and and the insane arcs of these shells as well but again a great dd nonetheless still in my opinion today and of course if you are a fan of american destroyers you probably already have the kid but if you don't and you're even thinking about maybe picking her up it is one that would definitely pick up if you're an american dd player you can do way better in this thing than i've been doing of course so guys let me know what you guys think about the kid in the comments down below have you picked her up yet are you thinking about picking her up let me know what you guys think down below Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 40,000 subscribers. We did, of course, just pass 35,000 subscribers, and we have started to give away the five premium ships that I'm giving away for the 35,000 subscriber celebration. The first winner has been selected. I'm just waiting to hear back from him. Later today, the second winner should be selected as well. So, guys, make sure you're going around and checking your notification on YouTube and get to messaging me on Discord if you have a reply to me on last Monday's video. Anyway guys, hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.